So my mom got inspired from watching this film called Minari and now she got some Minari for me to plant in my aquaponics system. So right now I will plant it right over here. Maybe later on I'll move it, but otherwise it will go in here. Unfortunately, the only thing with this grow bed is it's got a lot of gunk in there since it's constant height versus the ones that are bell siphons that are going up and down. So basically, if you're doing a constant height grow bed, it's ideal if you have one that's deeper because the more media you have in there, the more biological life you have in there. So it's breaking down everything. You have the different stages. If you have worms in there and everything, it's more beneficial. When you have smaller ones like these, you do have to clean, out, clean them out eventually just because there's not as much biological life going on inside the grow bed itself so here's the monari with the roots rinsed off i'll be planting it all in here and i'll be separating it so basically i can if i wanted to cut it wherever as long as there's roots on and plant those sections i don't know how this one grows you might even be able to slip it here and plant that like the watercress which is over there which is always growing like a weed probably just take it out since all I do is feed it to the chickens but otherwise that's how the Minari roots look I'll split them off and plant them in this general area and then later on I'll plant some probably somewhere else I will be taking this lemongrass out and using only a planting a small portion of it somewhere probably like in that corner so it's out of the way but otherwise the Minari so for example, I snip this guy off of this main bundle and I'll just stick it in the hydroton. Since it has the roots, it should do well. And I'm planting it in the evening when it's cooler so it doesn't have to deal with the greenhouse heating up until tomorrow. So you can see I have some Minari planted right here. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. What I split off of that main one, basically I cut it off since it have roots in places. These two I'll plant just like this with no roots since the parts they were attached to were kind of broken so I'll plant them like this they should hopefully get roots on them but we'll see if not it's fine since I got all these other ones in there so basically we'll just stick these inside like so it's in the water and it hopefully get some roots so there we go I have them all planted in there all the little parts of the Minari plant these two are the ones without roots on them, so they're just a stem sticking in there. These other ones, you got one, two, three, six of the other ones, all have roots on them, so they'll do fine. So we'll see how those guys do. But otherwise, I got all the Minari right there in this grow bed, which is a constant height grow bed. I might change it up later on to make it a bell siphon or a one that flood and drain media bed. Otherwise, I do have hooked up to it, which I'll show you. So basically on this side of the grow bed, I have, I took this guy off for some reason. So basically on this side of the grow bed, I have this thing right here, which is attached to a pipe, which is going underneath the grow bed itself. And underneath there's a grid system with a bunch of holes in it. So what I do at times is I hook this up to my air pump like one of those and then I just shoot air into it which vigorates it supplies more oxygen get some of the gunk out but that's what I do occasionally in this grow bed it's only been a week since I planted this Minari and you can see that it's doing good already so all of these had roots on it except I believe these two were the ones that I put as cuttings and they're already growing well seems to be so none of them are dead all of them are growing extremely well they're like double in size maybe triple in size from what I planted them before so I will do some updates on this later on, but it's probably gonna grow similar to the watercress, which is like crazy, like a weed. So we'll see how it goes. But as I said, my mom did get inspired by the movie Minari, which I'll post in the description below if you wanted to check it out. I didn't really watch it, but either way, because of that movie, I have this growing here now, which is very healthy. So that's that. Well, that sums up this video. I was just showing you the Minari that I have planted in my aquaponics system, which is growing well now. If you do have any questions, remember to leave those below or comments or suggestions or any ideas on videos you want me to see or want to see me make, just leave those in the description. Otherwise, thank you for watching.